G'day guys, Ian South Oz here. What's happening? Well, I'll tell you what's happening in this shed today. The other day I was at the uh, Harley dealers and you know how you see the, the bikes, they're all on display and you, you see them sitting up by themselves um, on like a wheel chock, a front wheel chock. Well, I looked at that because I've got an 8x4 trailer and uh, I've transported my Harley a few times uh, around Australia and the front wheel just sat up against the uh, front of the trailer and it tends to move and you've got to keep tightening the straps so I've been looking for a, a decent trailer wheel chock well I saw these at Adelaide Harley Davidson and they're actually a Harley product but they're suitable for any bike so I thought well that looks the go so I had a look at it and uh, they use the same wheel chock in their recovery van when they go and pick up any bike uh, whether it be a Harley, Honda, whatever um, because it's adjustable uh, to all different size wheels the item in the Harley book it's actually on on page 960 and it's item A so this is the latest accessory book we'll just try and get that focus there so that's it there uh, you've probably seen them around I'll just read um, quickly about what it says here. Basically it says this sturdy aluminium wheel chock will hold your bike securely on the ground, on the trailer or in the back of a pickup truck. Sized to fit most motorcycles, this wheel chock will keep your bike upright while you are storing, transporting or working on your bike. Anyway, it goes on for a couple more paragraphs, so you get the idea. So. I've just bought it, haven't had it out of the box yet, so I thought, well, you know, let's unpack it and uh, we'll see what it's really like and how it works. So, uh, stand by and I'll pull it out of the box. Check that out. <laughs> okay, so I don't stuff it up. I'll have a read of the instructions and uh, get back to you. Well, there she is all assembled. That was pretty painless. Basically, I'll just zoom in down here. That bar I showed you at the beginning, all I had to do was put two screws, these two screws here, in. There's a uh, special, oh, obviously lift this up, lock that in place with the pit pin there. And down the back here, there's a chart in the instructions. And uh, for a 130 or MT90 tyre, you have this on the second hole there and the idea is basically the bike rolls on and locks in so you can either you can either uh, roll the bike on manually or you can ride it on I just had a go at putting it on manually it's a, it's a bit of an effort um, but it can be done It'd be much easier to ride it on, but anyway, I'll uh, I'll put it on manually. Um, it's nice and secure, so I'll put it on and uh, we'll have a look at it. Okay, let's give her a go. So there you have it. It's um. You got to give it a fair bit of a push to get it on, but uh, it's quite secure. Uh, I'll take you over and we'll have a look. 
So there we are, she sits in there, looks pretty good. Because the idea, as per the instructions, is that um, as this cradle here moves forward, it shouldn't fully touch the ground, which is what it's uh, where it's supposed to be right now. So I'll give her a bit of a shake. Well, that's not going anywhere. It's as secure as the ones you see in the shop that everyone sits on and messes around with. Um, I think it's a great idea. Um, you know, it's going to be great for the trailer. And uh, it's not bad for the shed either for this sort of thing. Well there you have it guys, so um, next time you're at your Harley dealer, um, have a look around, you'll see these on the floor, uh, they're a great product, they uh, fit any bike, uh, fully adjustable as I showed you before with that rear cradle, um, please like the video and subscribe, if you also tap on that little bell, next time I put out a new video, you'll uh, get an alert. Um, my next video will be the fitting of the Sundowner seat to the Softail Deluxe. That should be here middle of next week. So I'll compare the differences between the standard seat and the Sundowner and uh, do a vlog on that. Alright, this is Ian South Oz signing off. Take care everyone.